Okay, I'm going to go over a few of these problems from your review so you can kind of look over this and be ready for the test. Now, a lot of these problems uh, are very similar. In fact, all of them are similar to what you're going to see on the test. Now, when you see parentheses and a number outside, that's a distribution problem. So, you're going to multiply that number on the outside to everything in the inside. And it's okay to use a calculator if you don't know what it is. But it says 3 times negative 2, negative 6. 3 times positive 3a, plus 9a, and then plus 6a, this right here. Now, you're not quite done because it says simplify, so you have to combine like terms. Now, I can only combine terms that are the same. Negative 6 is not the same as 9a and 6a, so that stays the same. There's nothing I can do about that. And then 9 plus 6 is 15, so that becomes 15a, and that is my final answer on that. Okay. Same thing here. Can't do anything with 8x, so I'm just going to bring it down. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 4x, 40x. Combine like terms, or I can go ahead and bring down the 10 and get that out of the way. That helps. 8x plus 40x is 48x. And that's all you can do. You can't combine anything else. Okay, now let's look at one of these longer problems, like down here at number 7. So I have to distribute twice. Negative 7 times n. Negative 7 in. Negative 7 times 4. Negative 28. Now, you have to do this whole thing. This is a negative 10. So negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Negative 10 times negative 2 in is positive 20 in. Again, if you can't, if, if you're slowing down or you worry about the numbers, be sure and use the calculators. So now I'm going to combine like terms. I have negative 7 in and positive 20 in. So negative 7 plus 20 gives me 13 in. So I took care of those. And now I have negative 28 minus 10. So that's minus 38. And I can't combine anything else. Okay? That's as far as I can go. So that is my answer. Okay. So a lot of it has to do with multiplying and then being able to combine, add or subtract. Be sure that you're multiplying everything on the outside of that parentheses to everything on the inside. All right, so let's look at some of these equations. Now I'm going to do multiple things. I might have to combine... But now it says solve. It doesn't say simplify. It says solve. And I have an equal sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times negative 3x is negative 21x. Now, don't get concerned. Now it's just a two-step equation. You know what to do on this. Subtract 28 on both sides. 154 minus 28. I'm going to use calculator because I can't do that in my head. Just I could. But trying to speed things up. So I'm just bringing things down. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 21. And so x equals negative 6. Seven times five x, thirty-five x. Seven times eight is forty-nine. Let me double check that. Sometimes I doubt myself. Sorry, wrong. Fifty-six. I knew something was wrong. Fishy. Seven times eight is fifty-six. 
Seven times seven is forty-nine. It's early. Now, to move this to the other side to solve it, I'm going to subtract fifty-six from both sides. Thirty-five x equals. Let's do this. 175, and then divide, divide both sides by 35, so x equals 5, okay? So distribute, and then solve it like a two-step equation. All right, let's do, look at number 13. It's a little bit different. So I'm still going to distribute. I have to take care of that first. Okay, you always distribute first. 4 times x is 4x. Four, 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 equals 21 plus 2x. Now I'm going to combine like terms. 16 plus 3, I can combine. This right here. They're the same thing. So 4x plus 19 plus 21 plus 2x. Now, you can move anything you want. It doesn't matter. It should work as long as you keep, keep on moving the right thing. But I like to start with the uh, variables, making sure they're on the same side, and I usually move the smallest one. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I get 21 over there. And I get 2x plus 19. So I'm going to move this over. So I have a little bit more room. Okay. So I'm going to subtract 19 from both sides. If you want to bring that down so you can tell. So that's 2. That is gone. 2x equals 2. And then divide by 2 x equals 1. A little bit more in depth, but nothing different than what we've been doing. Let's do one more. Negative 7 times negative 7, 49. Negative 7 times negative p is a positive 7p. Minus p equals 33 minus 2p. So I have a lot of things right now. So let's just do anything that I can on the left side. So 7p minus p is 6. And then over here, this is already simplified. Now remember what I said, move the smallest thing, move the smallest variable first. That will be the easiest path. So I'm going to add 2p. Sorry, I shouldn't put that there. It's just... I'm going to add 2p. That cancels. So then I have 49 plus 8p. I'll rewrite it up here. So now it's just a two step equation. Subtract 49 from both sides. Oops. 8p equals negative 16. Divide by 8. P equals negative 2. That's it. All right. Now, when you see these, this is just an absolute value problem. And absolute value is the distance from 0. So if I say how far is 3 from 0, well, that's 3. But that's also the same distance as negative 3 to 0. Okay? So when you set up these problems, not only does negative 8k plus 2 equals 2, but since it's absolute value, negative 8k plus 2 can also equal negative 2. Because these both have equal amount of distance from 0. So then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Negative 8k equals 0. And then when I divide by negative 8, k 
equals zero. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to subtract two. So negative 8k equals negative 4. Divide by negative 8. So k equals, and I'm going to reduce this. First of all, the negatives go away. Second of all, 4 over 8 can be reduced to 1 half. Now, you could put it in your calculator like this. Alpha. Y equals enter negative 4 over negative 8. And it'll simplify and do everything for you also one half. Alpha Y equals enter. So same thing here. Negative 7 plus K equals 17. Negative 7 plus K equals negative 17. Okay, so don't make this hard. It's relatively easy because now all I'm going to do is add 7 to both sides. K equals 24. Add 7 to both sides. K equals negative 10. Boom. Done. Last type of problem. I'm going to multiply two binomials together. You, in the past, you might have called this FOIL, okay? I just call it distribution. I have to multiply everything here times everything here. So just start out. And I, again, I like to draw lines. 5x times negative 8x. Negative 40x squared. Because I have two x's. Negative 8 times negative 8x. Positive 64x. 5x times negative 4. Negative 20x. And then negative 8 times negative 4. Positive 32. Now, these outside ones, They don't have any common things to add to, so they just stay like that. But these inside ones are similar or like terms. Positive 64 minus 20x. So this is plus 44x. That's it. That's all. Let's do this next one. Negative 3x times 5x. Negative 15x squared. Negative 3x times 1 is just negative 3x. 4 times 5x is 20x. And then 4 times 1 is 4. Again, these things stay the same because there's nothing to add them to. With this in the middle, you're going to have to combine. Negative 3x plus 20x is just 17x. So negative 15x squared plus 17x plus 4. So there you go. I've done examples from each different set. If you need anything, let me know.